Hey there, Brendan here. Have you ever heard someone say that creatine is the most researched supplement? While it's true it's been studied for over a decade, it has a common downside associated with it, which nobody's ever discussed. That downside is a potential loss of libido in some men. In this video, I'm going to describe the mechanism behind how creatine can cause a loss of libido and how that also ties in with how it speeds up the antidepressant effects of SSRIs, otherwise known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So let's just start from the beginning. From your diet, you obtain something called tryptophan, which is an essential amino acid. It's transported to a neuron where it's converted into 5-HTP uh, by tryptophan hydroxylase. And then that's converted into serotonin, otherwise known as 5-HT, uh, through AADC. Now from there, it's uh, transported to synaptic vesicles by VMAT2, where it's stored until a nerve impulse triggers its release. Then it's released from the presynaptic neuron into the synaptic left, which is a space between the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron. And then it binds to the postsynaptic neuron, uh, transmitting the signal, all right? So SSRIs, they inhibit CERT, which is serotonin's transporter. This transporter's job is to remove serotonin from the synaptic left and take it back to the presynaptic neuron so that VMAT2 can restore it in the vesicles until a nerve impulse triggers its release it yet again, okay? Well, when you block CERT, it leads to more serotonin staying in the synaptic cleft. And this could lead to it either being broken down by MAO or it passively diffusing um, into other non-serotonergic cells, but this is a very slow process and it takes time, okay? So ultimately, this serotonin that stays in the synaptic cleft, it causes a desensitization of the 5-HT1A autoreceptor. And when this receptor becomes desensitized over time, it causes an increased release of serotonin postsynaptically, okay? Now, when this serotonin is released postsynaptically, it uh, st stimulates G-protein coupled receptors. And this stimulates adenocyclase, which produces C-AMP, which uh, activates PKA, which phosphorylates CREB, and that leads to BDNF release, okay? And that's how the antidepressant effects of SSRIs are actually mediated. And that's why it takes some time for them to take effect. Well, creatine has been found to speed up the effects of SSRIs, and it's through assisting uh, the desensitization of the 5-HT1A autoreceptor. Now, there's a study in mice showing that just creatine alone can desensitize the 5-HT1A autoreceptor to a degree, okay? It's probably not as significant as an SSRI, and we don't even know the exact mechanism behind which creatine does this, despite it being the most researched supplement, all right? probably doesn't do it by inhibiting CERT, but it has some way in which it does it. So anyway, what does this mean? Well, uh, this condition is implicated in something called uh, PSSD, which is post-SSRI sexual dysfunction. When you inhibit this 5-HT1A autoreceptor, it can cause a loss of libido in some people, okay? Uh, now, it doesn't happen to everybody, and it may only be uh, insignificant to some people, but, you know, if you look online, you'll see anecdotes of creatine causing loss of libido in some men. And you also hear gurus say that these people are crazy. It's all psychological in their head. No way creatine can cause this. But that's just due to an overall poor review of the academic literature and mechanistic understanding of how creatine actually um, works in the brain. And so, yeah, if you notice a loss of libido in creatine, at least now you know why and you can... Uh, you know, determine whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, and whether or not you want to continue taking it. Uh, creatine can be a great supplement, but nobody ever discusses this one downside, so I felt obligated to make this video for you. I hope you found it informative.